Good morning, everybody. This is Guillermo with Live Trading with Guillermo. So this is the post video commentary of the overnight trading session uh, that I did last night. So I traded uh, for about nine hours last night. I turned it on again right before bedtime, uh, let it go completely hands hands free, hands off and just let it run all night. So the video you'll see is about nine hours, but it has been sped up um, just to make this a little bit more manageable for for viewing uh, a couple things i want to mention uh on what what transpired overnight so the first one i want to say is that the the cl right oil uh, didn't quite perform as well as it did the first time i did the overnight trading uh, i'm still tinkering with the settings i noticed that on two trades that it took it got stopped out and then the trade went the right direction so i i think i need to adjust my trailing stop and just give it a little bit more room otherwise i would have had three out of five winners uh, that would have definitely kept us in the positive we would have been in the green uh, with the cl uh, on the nq uh, it was still profitable but uh, we did have uh, rhythmic issues and and you've heard me talk about rhythmic in the past so i won't you know talk about that too much but in essence what's happening for, for those those of you that may not be familiar, you know, prop firms like Apex and Lilu and others use Rhythmic. Um, the automation places a trade into the system, right? Uh, Rhythmic is the exchange, right, that takes that order and places it. Well, if there's a system issue with Rhythmic, uh, if there's any latency, any issues like that, then it, the order doesn't get executed properly. So, and if that happens, then an order could actually sit there because it didn't close out properly. And that's and that's what happened um, again uh, again last night. So uh, I think things could have been uh, better had we you know had we not had those issues. But in the end, it, we were still profitable. Um, I haven't done the math. Uh, I think just about seven hundred positive for the overnight trading session. So I think once I tweak the CL settings, I think those will improve. Um, and, and then we'll see how, how it goes from, from there the next time I do another overnight session. Maybe I'll do that tonight. But um, yeah, I just wanted to post it for you guys uh, just to let you know that not everything's going to be perfect. Um, I didn't want to just post videos. I, I didn't want you to think I'm just cherry picking whatever looks the best. It's not. The, the CL did not look that great. But in the end, we were positive. And that's the whole point. We just want to be profitable um, in, in, in our trading, and we certainly achieved that. So mission accomplished, no doubt. So, but, but you know, the rhythmic issue, I, I'm still kind of, I've been thinking about that. So I reached out to Danny at True Trade, um, got a chance to chat with him. He pretty graciously accepted to, to, to chat with me, and I explained what was going on. And uh, he said, uh, okay. He, he basically took it back to his programmers and said, and try to come up with a solution. So they, he thinks he's on the brink of coming out with something uh, for me to test. Uh, basically, it's called prop guard, you know, for prop account. So this feature on the settings, uh, basically, you, if you have a prop account, you would check this box. Uh, and then I'm not sure how it's going to work because I haven't seen it yet. But I... I believe that if I if I understand the technical aspect correctly he said that after a trade is executed and closed the software will go look to make sure there aren't any open orders and if there are it will close them out automatically so it's gonna constantly be sweeping for orders that shouldn't be there which I think it's gonna be great because then after a trade is executed and closed if something's still hanging uh, the ripper one will be able to close those out. So that's really a game changer for me. Uh, if, if True Trade can get this uh, released uh, for me to test, uh, because then really what's happening is that True Trade is fixing other people's problem, which is pretty crazy, right? To think that some other software is fixing somebody else's issue, which is rhythmic, right? So that would be just a game changer if True Trade can make that happen fix other people's problem which makes it makes it my problem right when i'm trying to trade so if that that if that's accomplished then that takes rhythmic pretty much out of the equation then it's just a matter of 
making sure I'm dialed in, trading with the, my settings that are appropriate, and then then I'll be good to go. Then I'll just let it on, let it run during the night if I want to, or if I want to do uh, morning and then just run it throughout the entire day. Um, that's also an option. And then I don't have to worry about keeping an eye on it. Literally, I can just set my my profit tick, uh, triggers, my PL triggers, and then just let it reach its target and then shut off automatically. So uh, I'm looking forward to that day. Um, and I think I'm close. I think I'm getting really close um, to, to that happening. So with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, watch the video. Um, like I said, you know, don't be surprised with what you see uh, with the rhythmic issue and, and some of those things. But in the end, uh, positive, uh, roughly about 700. So I'll, I'll definitely take that any night while I'm asleep. Making 700 bucks while you sleep, I'll take that. And it could have been much higher, but hey. We'll take 700. So with that, I'm going to let the pl uh, video uh, play out. It has been sped up. Nine hours has been sped up So for, for easier viewing. Uh, with that, have a great day, and we'll talk soon. Take care now.